Hi there. I'm Tony Dobrowolski, and I'm here to help give you a preview of the next production of The Shakespeare Project, which is Thomas Haywood's play, A Woman Killed with Kindness. And I am joined by Peter Carino, the director, and Barbara Zaporo, who is going to be playing the woman in question. So, Peter, of all of Shakespeare's contemporaries, how did you come about picking this play to do as part of our season? Well, it was actually quite by accident. I uh, was going through an anthology of Jacobean drama, and this was the first play in the anthology, so I kind of worked my way through, and as soon as I read this play, I fell in love with it. Um, it has, in the very, you know, it has a wedding, a murder, a betrayal, uh, adultery, extortion, and all of that happens in the first 15 minutes. So from, from our audience's perspective, uh, this is a very, very tantalizing and exciting play to watch. Um, it's all written in beautiful blank verse, uh, so people will be accustomed with the style of the play in terms of language. And it has wonderful characters, which I know our actors are really going to love playing, and our audience will love um, watching. And you're going to be playing Anne, yes. the woman in question, yes. and she makes a series of rather dramatic decisions during the show, um, and one which ultimately has a great cause for her. How yes. do you think she comes about that? Uh, the, well, there's a choice that's handed to her by her husband when, when the infidelity in question is discovered. Uh, in the sentence that her husband imposes upon her, which we will not reveal right now, but it's almost a worse one than death. And my character has an extraordinary journey. Everybody always says that, but it's really true for her. She starts as a blushing bride and goes from wife to mother to outcast to martyr. And I, th I think she chooses that path because she cannot stand the pain and the remorse anymore past a certain point. Well, it's interesting that I, th I think of the place of this period have to be taken in the context of their time. It's, it's often done with Shakespeare plays that they're set at other times and other periods. But this domestic tragedy, which was the beginning of a new genre in and of itself, I don't think can be taken out of its time. Would you agree? I agree. And that's one of the things that I think our audience is really going to enjoy is the fact that they are watching a contemporary Elizabethan Jacobean drama that is not set in the past, um, that has a, you know, recognizable people of that time. Uh, so it's uh, very, very unique in that aspect. The only play that Shakespeare wrote that he said actually in the same period that he was living was The Merry Wives of Windsor, a very different play. But um, again, something which uh, is uh, going to be very interesting for our audiences to watch. And I also think it's interesting that there were so many, uh, the, another genre at the time was the revenge tragedy. Yes. And in a sense, even though this isn't dealing with kings and queens and it is a domestic situation, it's not that far away from that genre either. It's true, in a way. I mean, if you think that the punishment that John gives his wife uh, is, is exacting a kind of, of revenge, but a very different kind of revenge, certainly not a uh, bloody revenge like we would see in the Duchess of Malfi, for instance, mm -hmm. which we did last season. Uh, but it's a, a very, uh, very good point. Well, I hope we've given you a taste of A Woman Killed with Kindness, and I hope that we've intrigued you to come and see the production. We'd love to have you there.